Hello internet and welcome back to my Big Damn TV Geek vlog. The first of this winter's batch of mid-season premieres start up in the next couple of days, so I thought this week I would take a look at some of the new and returning shows I'm most excited about in the next couple of weeks. First up is Marvel's Agent Carter, which has a two-hour premiere January 6th to 8th on ABC. I am completely unreasonably excited for this show. I think Haley Atwell is totally amazing as Peggy Carter. I loved her in the first Captain America movie and I love the idea of revisiting that time period and that world and seeing what Peggy is up to after Captain America. So I think this is going to be so so terrific. I also just really really love the idea of what I've heard called a bridge series which is what Agent Carter is to Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D rather than leaving the show off for eight weeks and running reruns or other crap, you get a relevant series to fill in the seven weeks Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. is off, and that's what Agent Carter is doing here. I'm sure we're going to get fun S.H.I.E.L.D. tidbits and stuff that informs S.H.I.E.L.D. during the seven weeks we're watching Agent Carter, and I think that's so fun, and it makes the wait a little less tedious, and it's always great to get to look for Easter eggs and stuff like that, so I think Marvel and ABC are being really smart here and I really hope it pays off. Next up is ABC's Gallivant, which premieres January 4th at 8pm. You'd never guess it from the ABC promos because they're kind of shying away from the fact that they're singing, but this show is basically a musical comedy fairy tale, so they had me from the word go. I feel like there's a Decently high probability it may turn out to be kind of terrible, but even if it does, it might be the good kind of terrible. The fun kind of terrible. The cast is really good. It includes Tim Odmanson, who was Lassiter on Psych, who I love, and I feel like this is a part that was made for him. They have a ton of fun guest cast coming up throughout the four-week run of the show. Weird Al, John Stamos, Ricky Gervais. So I feel like it's just going to be a really goofy, fun way to spend an hour on a Sunday night, and I'm really looking forward to it. Last but not least, among the new shows I'm looking forward to, we have Better Call Saul, which premieres February 8th at 10pm on AMC. What really needs to be said about this show? It's Vince Gilligan writing more stuff in the Breaking Bad universe. I'm in. I've always loved the Saul Goodman character. I love Bob Odenkirk. I think he's terrific. I think the idea of getting to find out the backstory of the Saul character is so fun, particularly when it's also going to include the backstory of the Mike Ehrmantraut character. Jonathan Banks is fantastic. I love that he's going to be a part of this. I have total, total faith in Vince Gilligan and his writing team that they can make Better Call Saul stand on its own as its own amazing thing next to Breaking Bad, and I cannot wait to see what that looks like. Moving on to a couple of returning shows I'm super excited for. First up, we have Broad City Season 2, which starts January 14th at 10 on Comedy Central. I have talked and written a ton about Broad City over the last couple of months. I totally missed the boat on Season 1 when it aired. I'm not making that mistake again. I'm looking forward to being in on the fun as it airs in Season 2. I love this show. I can't wait to see what Abby and Alana get into this year. I think their friendship is one of the best on TV. I think the comedy is some of the best on TV. It makes me laugh as much, if not more, than most other things I watch. And I'm really, really looking forward to seeing what's in store for us in season two. The other returning show that I'm both super excited for and absolutely dreading is the final season of Parks and Rec, which starts January 13th at 8 on NBC. I'm a little bit cranky with NBC about how they're handling this final season. I hate that they're like rushing it out the door with two episodes a week for seven weeks, but I am glad we're getting this final season at all, so I can't complain too much. I am not at all emotionally prepared to say goodbye to Leslie and Ben and April and Andy and Ron and everybody in Pawnee, even though I do feel like the show is ready to end. I love that they're going to be in the future for these last 13 episodes. I think that's a really fun idea and it's going to give them some really great stuff to do for these last couple episodes. And I have total faith in Michael Schur and everybody at the show to end it right. So I'm very excited for this last 13 episodes, but at the same time, I'm very sad and I don't want to say goodbye. So that's a handful of the things that I'm looking forward to as we roll into mid-season. 
What are you guys looking forward to? Did I miss anything? Do you think I'm crazy for wanting to watch Galavant? Let me know in the comments. As always, please like and share this video. Subscribe to my channel so you can keep on watching my vlog. You can follow me on Twitter at BigDamnTVGeek. And I now have a Facebook page, so you can find me on Facebook at BigDamnTVGeek. There's a link in the description. And you can find the link to the blog in the description as well. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.